name is Joanna, and I'm going to be doing a little lesson with math and some other things. And I hope you guys like it. Um, so today, I'm just going to be talking about our little math lesson here. And there it is. I'll hit the present button right here. And here we go. So, um, in activity one, in my little notebook here, um, we have this simplifying algebraic expressions. So the essential question is how can you simplify an algebraic expression? Evaluate each ex algebraic expression when x equals 0 and x equals 1. So you need to use the re results. So activity 2, you have to write a whole page about how you got all the answers on activity 1. Then your answers in your own words. How can you simplify an algebraic expression? Can you give an example? So you have to give an example um, that d demonstrates that procedure. Um, so why would you want to simplify an al algebraic expression? Well, now you guys discuss several reasons with that partner you have. Okay, so this is a practice one, and you do not have to get it right either. Um, you need to use what you learned about simplifying algebraic expressions to complete exercises 12 through 14 on page 84. So, here's my handy dandy um, math book, but math book, and I can go to page 84 to, to explain that. So, on page 84, I need to go to 12, and 12 through 14 on page 84 um, and discuss how. You work it. You know, it's my <laughs> Anyway, so um, you gotta simplify the, the expression. It's like right here, and then right here's these three. Not these, or not these, just these three right here. And you need to figure it out. Um, so some definitions you need to learn. So I went to the pa next page I was on earlier, and I just finished it over, and I said, parts of an algebra expression are called terms. Like terms are all terms that have the same variables raised to the same exponents. Constant, constant terms are also like terms. To identify terms and like terms in an expression, first write the expression as the sum of its terms. So I just definished a definition that on this one right here. So that's the end of my slide. I have my little laser pointer to prove it. Here we go. And that was awesome. And figure that out on the little I need to go look up um, algebraic ex expressions. And it goes really slow. I watch iCarly. Yep, that's true. <laughs> and I need to learn the introductory of algebra, so simplify algebraic expressions. But I don't want to do that right now. So I'm going to go to translating. Mm -hmm right here, writing them, but I'm going to go to that one next, um, so remind me of that camera, okay? So here, I'm going to do that one. Hey guys, so a little ad. this may sound familiar. You go to a confusing lecture, you ask for help, but your teacher can't explain anything, so you have to stay up way too late struggling with homework, and then the next day you do it all again. And again, and again, and again. By the time so the that's test just comes a little around, introduction you might as well there. Before we get ready to solve algebraic equations, we should be careful and learn how to simplify algebraic expressions correctly. The first few problems that I have on the board here, I'd like to um, have you look at carefully because they have negative. So, what it's so what it's trying to tell you is that there's negative signs in these three. There's 
three problems, and there's negative signs in the problem. So if I try and look in here, which I don't want to right now because we're busy learning about simplifying these expressions. So it's just 13 introductory algebra, simplify algebra expressions. In front of a grouping symbol or in front of a set of parentheses, they're asking you, those problems are asking you to take the opposite of whatever's in here. So the opposite of 8x is a negative 8x. And the opposite of a positive 4 is a minus 4. So, what it's trying to tell you again is that it, the negative sign, sorry, she's in the way, but the negative sign would in, that's in the parentheses would equal negative 8x minus it would so be eight, negative 8x and negative 4. Okay? A lot of people like to look at this problem as though I were asking you to take a negative 1 and multiply it by 8 to get the negative 8x. And a negative 1 and multiply it by the positive 4 to get the minus 4. You can do it either way. Um, okay. I typically just look at that and say I'm asking for the opposite of the trying to explain to you is that um, it wants you to put ones in front of the negative. Sorry, we're going back and forth, but they write this as plus a negative one times a negative three, giving us that positive three at the end. I just think that's a, a little bit of trouble. It is so much easier to just say, give me the opposite of a negative 8x, which is a positive 8x. The opposite of a positive 6y is a minus 6y. And the opposite of a negative 9 is a positive 9. Now, if we put that in context with a problem where we don't just have a negative sign in front of the parentheses, we have a term in front of that. So let's say I have 4y minus I think it was fine just five. Like that. When I ask okay. you for why to take away all of that, it's like I'm asking you to pretend there's a one here. It's like I'm asking you to add the opposite of every one of those. So, I know you so again, when you see this, this minus right sign in front of a set of grouping so symbols, make that 2y a minus 2y. Make that 5 a minus 5. Drop the parentheses because you have distributed the negative 1 times those and you are ready to combine your... I'm not going to show you guys me right now, but what it's trying to explain here, right here, right all the way right here, it's just trying to make it easier for... It's just trying to make it easier for you guys to learn it and all that. Okay? Like terms, 4y minus 2y is 2y and bring down your minus 5. Those are not like terms, the 2y and the minus 5. I cannot collect them. I have to leave it alone. So then it So. So it's telling you to leave it alone. Okay? So we just want to... Make sure you guys do it right. So we're just going to stop right there. I'm, besides, I'm going behind the scene right now. Uh, hi. <laughs> and so it's, you know, it's just trying to explain it to you. So, like, let's say I have a, a couple of these index cards, okay? Well, I'm sharing them with my class. And right now, so I have to figure that out and yeah so I gotta split the leaves up
So, guys, she's right now counting, but uh, if you guys want to go check out behind the scenes, I'm going to keep that in the links below. If you guys want to go check out behind the scenes, how me and Joanne made this video, please go check it out now. It is not in the links. I am now going to send it back over to Joanna. Here is she. This map with me. I'm just gonna exit out of that for right now. I'm gonna go to O, and I'm just gonna go to this little website for no reason, okay? So I it says you don't have any permission, so I'm gonna try and look up for more jobs. Okay, I just put in the Please go go check them out. I leave their website in the links. This might be an hour to a like 15 this, minute long, guys. And we'll post this tomorrow. Because I'm tired. I'm going to be going to bed pretty soon. This school username and password. J -O -K -O -K Hang on. Visualize that. TR. Maybe it won't work. Oh, because I'm on the wrong net. Freaking have a website. What the frick? <laughs> oh, what the heck? No, oh, because it's. I'm on the wrong website, guys. What the heck? Oh, wait. Maybe I wasn't. What's going on? I, I put it on this before. Oh, it's right here. What the heck? Big ideas, math. Ah, oh, 
please enter your access code. Why is it not working? I swear, this was working the other day. I guess I'll just go to here. We can look up some music songs for a little bit. So I need a free trial for right now. I go to this every once in a while just to, oops, just to, you know, have everyone learn this. Okay, I'm going to start a 14 day trial for right now because it'll help. Okay, you guys, I know I'm right by Joanna. But I have to end it here, you guys. I can't go any longer on this. So we're going to take part two tomorrow. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>